fear and love. They say, and I do believe, and curious to your belief, but fear and love are the two driving emotions that are really the reason why we do something or why we don't do something. And we're also running programs, I know for me, um, around fear based on past experiences that have nothing to do with the present moment of now. And this recording, uh, this audio is an invitation to invite you to call upon your higher self to see if you are unconsciously operating programs um, that have you fearful of expanding. Like if you're watching this on YouTube versus listening to um, it on a podcast channel, you can see this image of how constricting fear is and how expansive love is. And what I did not realize was how many programs of fear I was operating um, that were really preventing me from stepping into expansion. But I also, I'll give you an example, and this is so you can check in with yourself to see if maybe this is um, also happening for you. And if you have found this and you are still listening, chances are it's probably a yes somewhere in your life. It's going to be mirrored. So my throat chakra, like it, it's not that I wasn't allowing myself to speak my truth or to, um, you know, honor my authenticity, uh, by using my throat chakra. Like I wasn't doing it right. We'll say that. Okay. So I was not allowing myself to express, um, my truth and, um, like, my expansion and my um, evolving beliefs. And it, it didn't show up like in my throat chakra though, right? It didn't show up in my throat, but it's like my lower back was really um, tightening up again. And what I realized, I, I went into um, communion with my higher self. So maybe you have an area in your body that is talking to you, that is lovingly trying to get your attention <laughs> and is constricted and offering you pain um, to get your attention. And so I think, okay, well, you know, what's wrong in my lower back? Where, where am I like chakra wise, energetic wise? Like what am I holding on to in terms of, you know, not feeling um, safe in terms of survival? But what I realized was that it was actually through, it was the area that I would be um, able to unlock the pain in my back was actually in my throat chakra but I was not using my throat chakra because of fear that if I began to speak my new truth based on personal experiences and direct revelations from my higher self, um, that I would lose resources that were coming in because of being a, a speaker and a presenter um, on kind of a different paradigm, right? And so like... It was the pain, though, it was from me not expressing my authenticity and my truth or feeling that I could, that I had to shrink myself or worrying so much about offending someone in this sect or that sect that I once was associated in or that I, um, you know, did business with and income came in through that. But again, it was out of survival. So, yes, it was survival for my pain. But it was still my throat chakra that was going to liberate me in that area of survival. And so often I used to think that the pain in my body was associated directly to, um, to like essentially like that chakra, like my root chakra. Um, I mean, obviously it's all connected, all of it, right? But to just have the awareness wait a minute. Yes, it is absolutely survival. But the survival is a fear program that I'm running around how unsafe it is to shift, to change, 
because again, people in the past maybe have lashed out, or if I spoke my truth, I got, you know, exiled from this tribe into that tribe, moving over into that tribe, right? We're tribal beings. And so I love this chart of our really our external needs that we feel like need to be met in order to feel safe. I think it all boils back um, to feeling safe. Um, But it was just, it was like this journaling that I did with my higher self. And so I I just wanted to create a space and give an example um, for you guys so that you can um, call upon your higher self to really look to see like, are you running a program around fear that is preventing you from expanding into love because of being afraid that if you do expand, if you did speak your truth, if you did allow yourself to X, Y, Z, if you did allow whatever changes and expansions in your life, if you decided to no longer um, be running dualistic programs and needing to hate this side, approve of this side, um, and you were just operating in fear and you no longer, um, what's the word, like bonded with people around like lower frequencies around hate and fear, judgment and what you don't like, but you move towards um, sovereign programs of acceptance and willingness and unconditional love, are you not expanding into that because the tribe that you have been used to would exile you? And as creatures, (laughs) right, like then we would no longer feel safe or accepted and approved of. And so we shrink, 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 shrink because we're afraid. So we're running a program of fear. If we are afraid to expand, we are running a program of fear versus moving um, through trusting and accepting love being the ultimate reality, unconditional love of a benevolent being that has gifted us, (laughs) right? Like human experiences, even with all of the quote unquote good and bad, you know, you have to have the contrast to even know what something is. So it's like, taking a breath and just getting honest, like, am I gaslighting myself? Am I really running programs of fear? Because damn it, I don't want to. (laughs) So I'm like, let me call upon my higher self. I'm going to invite you to do that. And, you know, maybe if you're a journaler to grab a journal or just, you know, use the silent time to be in silence, but to really get clear And to begin to open a dialogue between yourself and your higher self to become aware of when these programs are operating. And a great way to know is if there's something external that happens and you find yourself getting triggered or reactive. And it's like, but wait, Casey, what about when this happens? It's so wrong. You know, it's a blatant lie. You know, they're like lying and manipulating something. But here's what I've realized. The less I lie and manipulate myself by trying to (laughs) get my higher self to get on board with my ego's plan, not knocking my ego, I'm, I'm befriending my ego, but the, the ego does run programs of society and based on past experiences, right? The higher self is running the operating system of a sovereign divinity where the highest possible outcome for the greatest joy, the most prosperity, the most bliss, the most fulfillment. And we feel good when we're in alignment with that. We feel off or depressed or or um, very resistant when we're not in alignment with that, right? And so it's like when an external happens where we can discern that yes, manipulation or lies or gaslighting is happening, we don't feel the same level of a trigger or response, or we don't get reactive around it. It's like no reaction comes from us. It's just like, oh, I've discerned that. That's a lie. That's interesting. This, that, that you know, humanity, collective consciousness is moving through X, Y, Z, Um compassion, like it's all good. I trust in the divine timeline. I trust in, um, you know, unconditional love leading the way ultimately and all is well. Um, you know, the divinity is not going anywhere. (laughs) It's all that there is. We all come from there. We return to there. And it's like that no longer can make you reactive. 
But if you are running programs of manipulation and gaslighting to yourself, those external things of manipulation, gaslighting, lies, they you, you will feel a, res, a very reactive response in your body to a trigger. And that is how I am becoming a good steward, I believe, on identifying when I am operating um, fear-based programs. So in the present moment is always um, the time <laughs> to uh, let the, the teaching moment come in. But let's just call upon our higher self. So again, if you have journal, awesome. I'll just leave some music playing. But I just want to create a container for you to create the space with your higher self to possibly become aware of anywhere that you are running a program, conscious or unconscious, of fear so that it may assist you in awareness right now or by becoming very aware in a present moment trigger so that you can then call upon your higher self to install a program of love and trust and acceptance and faith and that all is well and that it is safe to love, it is safe to expand, it is safe to let your light be seen. It is safe to feel all that you're feeling. It is safe to feel the reaction of the trigger. So you don't have to lie or gaslight yourself about not feeling the trigger. It's actually the gift. It's letting you know what you're running. So just taking some breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Into the nose, out to the mouth. I just want to start with a, a favorite prayer of mine from a cosmology near and dear to me, and it's Divine Mother of all life, take me to that space deep within your womb where I can know nothing and be reborn anew. Divine Mother of all life, Take us to that space deep within your womb where we can know nothing and be reborn anew. Just allowing, like, what if we knew nothing about the big picture of everything? What if everything happening that has all these labels and definitions around horrific, tragic, what if they were actually holy initiations, not only for humanity, but for each of us individually? What if the programs of fear can be blessed with compassion and thanks but in this knowing of nothing in this not needing to label anything could we open ourselves to alchemical transmutation of fear into love say that that is a miracle one of the highest miracles transmuting fear into love just breathing into that possibility being open and willing for that to take place in the present moment right now if your higher self wills it so for you just breathing into this idea that the miracle of transmutation of fear into love is available to you from your higher self from the holy mother and holy father of all that is divinity beyond any name the source that is giving life to all things the source when human life the body lays to rest that the consciousness within there the soul returns to this source. Just 
feeling this level of peace washing over you as you are creating space for your higher self to offer you a direct transmission and direct revelations. All can receive direct revelations. Just seeing this light surrounding you as your higher self is encapsulating you. In the truth of love being the ultimate reality. That humans and our egos have, yes, constructed a great, call it virtual reality that we're all playing in, but where we all come from and where we all return and just breathe into that peace. That love is all that's ultimately real. That's why it feels so good and to be in such alignment when we're running programs around love versus division versus right or wrong, but love being compassion, love accepting what is, not needing to change or fix anyone, but simply being a compassionate witness to their experience and trusting the divinity and our higher selves know what they are doing with it all. And in our free will choice, we now invoke our higher selves to offer us a transmission of grace and purification for any cloudiness and purify us from programs of fear and this purification being really revealed in present moments or through the power of our pin or as sensations or as direct downloads as we simply allow ourselves to get immersed in this frequency remembering to stay with your breath this frequency is going to play for 10 minutes and we hand it over to your higher self to take you through an inner exploration or an inner exploration and journaling or now just a journaling a combination Allow yourself to ask your higher self how you can best receive a transmission directly from your higher self, the aspect of divinity that is you, to assist you in clearing programs of fear and moving to programs of unconditional divine love for your highest good and the highest good of all.